today we will learn multiplication of rational numbers suppose we take 3 buckets and fill each bucket with 2 and 1/2 liters of water if we mix the water of all the buckets to know how many liters of water we will have we need to find the result of 2 and 1/2 plus 2 and 1/2 plus 2 and 1/2 Since we write two and a half as five by two, we can also find the result from five by two liters plus five by two liters plus five by two liters. Here, all rational numbers have the same denominator, so we will add the numerators by keeping the denominator the same. This will give us a result of fifteen by two. Since the same number is being repeated again and again, we can also express it as multiplication of rational number. As five by two is repeated three times, we can express it as a multiplication of three and five by two. Three can be written as three by one. Now we multiply the numerators and the denominators to get fifteen by two, which is also written as seven one by two. That is, after mixing the water of three buckets, we will get seven and a half liters of water. So tell me, if we have to find the result of twelve by seven into minus four. How will we do it? Think for a while. Absolutely right. We will multiply twelve and minus four so that we get the numerator of the result as minus forty-eight, and we will keep the denominator the same. That is, the result of the given multiplication will be minus forty-eight by seven. Now imagine how we would do this if we had to multiply two rational numbers. Think for a while. Let me tell you. We do this just like multiplying fractions. That is, if we want to multiply two rational numbers, we multiply the numerators and then the denominators and then express the result as the product of the numerators divided by the product of the denominator. Let us understand this with an example. Suppose we have to find the result of 13 by minus 15 into minus 14 by 11. For this We will first multiply the numerators thirteen and minus fourteen to get minus one hundred and eighty-two. Then we multiply the denominators minus fifteen and eleven to get minus one sixty-five. The result is the product of the numerators divided by the product of the denominators. That is minus one eighty-two divided by minus one sixty-five. Since the numerator and denominator are negative, that is, it is a positive rational number. Hence. The result of this multiplication is one eighty-two by one sixty-five. Now think if we have to find the product of four by five into five by four, how will we do it? Here also, we will multiply the numerators and denominators separately. Four into five is equal to twenty, and five into four is also twenty. In this way, the final result will be twenty by twenty, that is one. Similarly, if the result of multiplication of any two rational numbers is one. then they are reciprocals of each other by looking at these two rational numbers you can also understand that the reciprocal of a number is obtained by changing the numerator and denominator of that number for example the reciprocal of minus 5 by 6 is 6 by minus 5 which can also be expressed by minus 6 by 5 reciprocals have great significance when dividing rational numbers we will understand this by learning the division of rational numbers find the reciprocals of five rational numbers today we learn the multiplication of rational numbers examples related to these will be seen in the next video